what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we thought to look for the value of x given that 40 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says that when i have a to the power p plus q this can be expressed as a to the power of p times a to the power of q that means this expression can be written as 40 to the power of x times 40 to the power of negative 1 this is equal to we can do this the same way so that becomes 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 1 so simplifying further we have 40 to the power of x times 40 to the power of negative 1 is same as the inverse of 40 that means it can be written as 1 all over 40 this is equal to now this expression can be written as 2 to the power of 2 or raised to the power of x from indices because this 2 multiplies to give 2x just like this times 2 to the power of 1 is 2 and then simplifying further we have 40 to the power of x times 1 all over 40 to be equal to now 2 squared is 4 so we have 4 to the power of x times 2 very good now we see that we have x on the left hand side and we also have x on the right hand side now let's put the x's on one side and we can do that by dividing both sides by 4 to power x so i divide the left by 4 to power x i'll divide the right by 4 to power x now this becomes 40 to power x all over 4 to power x times 1 all over 40 equal to now 4 to power x divided by 4 to power x is 1 times 2 very good now let's apply the law of indices here that says that when i have a to power p all over b to power p this can be expressed as a over b all raised to the common power of p so that means this expression can be written as 40 all over 4 all raised to the common power of x times 1 over 40 equal to 1 times 2 that is 2 so this simplifies into 40 divided by 4 that will be 10 to power x times 1 over 40 equal to 2 very good now let's get rid of this fraction by multiplying both sides by 40 so we have 10 to power x times 1 all over 40 now multiply the left hand side by 40 equal to 2 also multiply the right hand side by 40 now notice that this 40 cancels out this 40 so we have 10 to power x times 1 which is 10 to power x and this is equal to 2 times 40 is 80 very good now we can apply a property of logarithm that says that when i have for example b to power x and this is equal to a this expression resembles what we have here this can be written as the log of the base b of a number a equal to the exponent x now we can write this to look like this so this becomes this becomes log of the base the base is 10 of the number 80 and this is equal to x very good and we know that log base 10 is log there is an invisible 10 here so we have a log of 80 to be equal to x and when you press this on your calculator you're going to have the value of x to be approximately so this is not equal to this is approximately 1.90309 and this is our final result 
Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.